told you guys that. Um, but we do, and maybe I'll be able to put some footage in here of it. Maybe not. Don't know. Um, but it's gonna be a complete renovation, and it's actually the one that I told you we had been looking at for a long, long time, but we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to get it or not, and we, like, we're gonna be moving in there. So, um, I'll do like a full house tour whenever it's like actually, we're actually moved in. But it's a full renovation, so we have to go and look at some stuff um, at Lowe's and, um, like Menards and stuff to figure out how we're gonna even do the renovation and we will be moving in pretty soon like within a couple weeks probably so it's a big project um, we're really excited about it and and um, you guys know I love like just decorating things and Brady's really good <laughs> stop Brady's good at um, renovating stuff so I feel like we're a good team and uh, yeah so we're excited I'm really excited huh it's a uh oh no it's just uh Brady was wondering what like was on the screen it's just like where this is placed but we're heading to Lowe's first so once we get in there I think we're gonna look at cabinets first today what do you say cabinets and cabinets cabinets and countertops which I feel like I'm gonna put some pictures in here of like inspo of how I want um the <laughs> how I want the uh house to look I have a very particular style like I want it to look a certain way very light and airy light floors light walls light pretty much everything and I'll like put some pictures in so you guys have an idea but also I have all of my inspo on Pinterest so I'll link my Pinterest below so you guys can see that too and yeah this is gonna be a freaking wild ride I haven't announced over on Instagram first or I haven't announced over on Instagram yet so if you guys are here and seeing this like you're the real OGs because I'm not even gonna like share this video on Instagram um, because we haven't announced it there yet so if you guys are here seeing the vlogs you're seeing it first which is where you guys see everything first so let's go to those and I'll see you guys whenever we get there of course this is what I gravitate towards first I I don't really like this counter, but I do really like these cabinets. These are so pretty. They, I also might only like them because they're the only ones that are like all like built and stuff and I can see them and I haven't seen any other ones, but these are really pretty. I came over by the floor and found flooring that I like and this is the number right there and it's like a, it's light but it has like a gray undertone and Brady showed me this one over here. Finding flooring honestly is like kind of stressful but he found this one. He thought I would like this but this has like a yellow undertone so we're gonna try to see if we can find that other one. It's really hard to look at flooring because they're so similar. It's like white. Is it the same? No, oh, it's a little different. Uh, this one's more like white. I like that other one, that one better. This one has like, let me see it. yeah, it looks like it's very similar, but it's like white. And then this one, put them next to each other. Crema oak. Crema oak. Do you think there's some on the other side, maybe? So this, this is this one right here. This is Belmont chestnut. Maybe this one's over on this side. Hopefully it's not gone. I'm gonna put this one back. Mm, that doesn't go there. there go. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this one up here. This looks similar to what I thought would look nice. Got a picture. Can I see that sample? Let's just take it. Okay. I'm gonna take this sample with us. And <laughs> is this all we're taking though? You still gotta go look at countertops. We still, we still have to go look at it. I feel like floors are easier than counters for me. So this is what we picked, pick potentially. Out okay. Prima. We had
had something like this in our, not this exact thing, but if we had something like this in the kitchen, I think it would pair nicely with that floor. Not saying get that, but. I know, I was just saying, you don't like that? <laughs> Brady had to go to the bathroom. He gets nervous poops whenever we're looking at stuff. It's like, like big decisions. I feel like it's so hard to decide what we want. Um, I've been taking pictures of stuff, but it's just hard to like figure out what is best because there's so many options. But we decided pretty much on this floor color. I think it'll look really nice. It has like a kind of a yellow, kind of a gray undertone. It literally is like cream undertone because it's called cream of oak. Um, and so I'm looking right now for a tile that has a similar undertone to this, but is like a tile. So. He said maybe this one, but this one is more white, I think, like white and gray, and I would want it to be more like cream and gray, um, which is hard to find in a tile, but let's see, there's actually one right up here. Gosh, there's so many decisions, it's so hard to choose. Thinking that something is like not that white and then you put this next to it and this looks yellow. So I've just been putting the floor next to it because obviously the floor, like this floor, will be next to it whenever it connects to the other rooms. This one I think looks nice, but it kind of looks busy to me because I wanna have white cabinets and that I think isn't gonna look good. It's gonna look green next to the white. There's just so many options. There's also some weird patterns over here too. But these almost look like they're a little more expensive. Ooh, that could be a good option up there maybe. One of those. Uh, I just don't know. Okay, how did I find this? I will never know, but I was just walking and I saw this. It's porcelain tile, but it's like a gray tone. Um, but I feel like that would look really nice with like the white cabinets like they have here. And obviously this isn't going to connect by any means. Um, but it'll be like on the outskirts of um the kitchen so like they will be next to each other i want to make sure they match and i feel like this would look good and then they also have this one but this one i think is a little too white um so this one is really catching my eye oh i feel like brady's gonna be like this is too expensive or something but i like these they're really like pretty in their porcelain Let's see if I can find some other porcelain tile down okay, here. I found this one that I love, and I think I love it because it has like these little specks of um, like brown, yellow tones in it, and I think it matches really well with this color right here. I keep, I don't know, I just keep putting this next to it because it will be next to it at some point. Um, and then this one is called, let's see what's the name of this one polar out here um it's hard to figure out the names of these is this the same oh. okay this is the same one and i oh is that the name of it okay i guess it's the name of it i don't know i think it's the name of it um, but I really like this. Looks like it's expensive though. It's like $4.29. So I feel like maybe this is gonna be too expensive, but I just love the color of this one. Just for reference, this one, I'm gonna put these next to each other. This one looks really similar. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but this one is more like gray. And this, this one I think is more like white maybe. They're both really cute. I'm gonna put this one back up here before I break something. bathrooms um 
and it looks like this but it's not white it's like a cream kind of I was looking at this one initially but it's a little too busy and now like this is that one I was showing you before that I thought I like but seeing it all together is too busy so I like this one better and then we're just gonna go with um, probably the wood in the kitchen too these this one is like not very busy but it has like a yellow undertone and that's what I was saying like with this Oops. like I don't know if you can see like those speckles are yellow yeah. versus like the speckles over here are gray and I want to keep our house having like yellow yellowish gray undertones but it doesn't have to be that one so if we find a better one at like Menards or something it's fine yeah these are all nice all right so we're looking at these surfaces and I really like this one I can't decide if I like this one which is the Pegasus or if I like this one better which is hill country and the difference is is they're very like similar but this one just has a little bit of like lines here and there and then this one up here has a few but it's just like a different design and it has a little less it's so hard to choose because there's so many options but it's so pretty Um, it's hard to pick out cabinets like I honestly know nothing about cabinets and how cabinets should look unless I see like a whole kitchen and you can't really do that whenever you're in the store you only see like a piece of the cabinet so but we did bring the sample and we like this so we're gonna go over to Menard see what's over there um, see like what kind of kitchen stuff they have see if they have different flooring and um if they have maybe some better options i have all these ideas like it's just hard to like pick the exact thing that you want because everything is so similar like we found other flooring like this but it just is a little different and it's like a big decision to decision to like buy a bunch of one thing and then if you bought it and you didn't like it it's like you're stuck with it so yeah we're gonna head over to martin bleh, menards and see what we can find over there There's a lot of vanities. Ooh, I like this one. I think I like the gold hardware, to be honest. See, I wish that when we went and looked at uh, cabinets for kitchens, it was like this, where you can just, yeah, I have the hardware and, uh, no. But I do like it for the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, that's different. Interesting. So many options. Uh, they don't actually have a lot of light flooring options, to be honest. Mm, I don't like that. We are, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, is this, are these together like this, or is it just one? Uh -huh. Are these together? You gotta grab it together. Oh, okay. Like the other one better. <laughs> so like the uh, that stuff like up here. Uh -huh. That's what she likes for. Oh, okay. For like the shower. Alright. 
keep moving. Hey, this is similar to the other one. But that's that's like the exact one that we saw at uh, yeah. uh, Lowe's. Ooh, that's fancy. I like that though. Deeper than a poem. <laughs> oh wow, look at the inside of this. Oh, it's actually, no, it's just wood, it's just gray. Yeah. <laughs> I like these, these are nice. Ooh, it's in stock. You see that? Huh? It's in stock. Huh? It says in stock. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. it solid. I like it. These are nice, just obviously not this hardware, but these are nice. Okay. You want to try to grab somebody and ask them questions? Okay. This is what I'm talking about for a closet. Look at this. Like, I would be happy with this. It has little lights in here. There's lights down here at the bottom. This is so nice. And then it has all of these little compartments and drawers with lights so you can see everything. Ooh, I love that. And slow clothes. Things you get excited for when you're an adult. It's so nice. Okay. These are so pretty, these cabinets. And I feel like this is what I'm going to want. Um, I went and asked the lady and she said that they are, um, she thinks they're in stock too. So the lady, she said she thinks that these are in stock and she said if they're not, it's only a seven to 10 day wait. So I feel like so pretty, like this is what I want. I really like these. They have like a gray on the inside instead of like brown wood. It's like a, not, it's a soft clothes, not like a slow clothes, but it's like a soft clothes. Okay, I think we might end up getting these, and this is the brand for anyone who's looking. Stroma um, Finish is White. Um, that's what this one is, and I think we might end up getting it. I found, oh wow, this is heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I found um, the sterling white one and it just looks really bad. So if we found this one on one of the like cabinets over there or something, we can, yeah, let's go look. Because if we find it, then it could be a good option. I'm trying to find something that's not busy, but not plain. That's the quartz one though, something else. Looks ugly. Let's see if I can find the coastal one. Ooh, this one looks like it might be quartz. Uh, I don't like this one. This is a quartz one, but I don't like it. Is this the coastal one? No, it's Fairbanks. 
I don't like it. It's too, I don't know. I just don't like it. Okay, yeah. I think we found um, some snacks, but I think we also found the counters and cabinets that we want. So we have floor and cabinets now, which is two big things. Do you think that we'll like order that within the next couple of weeks? Or? <sighs> it's all coming so fast. Oh, oops. All right, gotta get in the car. Our first time in a store without masks and it didn't feel as weird as I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, it said if you're vaccinated, you can wear, not have a mask on. At least the, if they have a sign up, it'd be weird. Yeah. If they didn't have a sign, it would just be like, it would feel like we're like breaking the rules or something. But, nothing. All right, we're gonna head home, um, and yeah, I need to look at some ideas. Going this ouch, put this on my lip. Going to the store is like a little overwhelming, so I need to like regroup, look online, figure out what I actually want, and uh, decide from there. So I'll see you when we go. And I'll probably vlog a little bit tomorrow. Um, more stuff about the house and maybe even give you guys a little sneak peek. Wow, the sliding is like doing something. Uh, maybe give you a little sneak peek of um, new house, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm so comfortable right now. Um, I'll probably give you guys a little sneak peek tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye guys. Hello you guys. I'm heading out to our new house. I'm so excited. Oh, I feel like I'm a lot more excited today than yesterday because I actually get to show you guys what the house looks like. Um, I've driven out here before and shown you guys the area, but you guys just don't know what it looks like. So really excited to show you um it's gonna be a full full renovation i don't know how much i'll be able to show you but i know i'll be able to show you something and i don't know if i told you i think i did it's on the lake so that's i feel like what i'm most excited about um because as it starts to get warmer we're gonna be able to go boating and it's just gonna be really fun so um we have a dock and everything and it's just gonna be like amazing so um yeah we're heading there now or i'm heading there brady's already there I had to work out and then after I got done with my workout, I showered really quick, literally showered in like five minutes, but I didn't want to like smell gross, you know, like when we went, um, they're doing the inspection I think right now. And so we're able to just like peep in a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys um, whenever we get to the house. I'll probably just show you a couple things and then we can chat after we leave the house. <laughs>
reno. I mean, there's a lot to do, but that view is like no other. So the plans, I told Brady, it's three bedroom, three bath right now. Um, there's two upstairs and one downstairs, and one of them is like an ensuite. So I told Brady that I want to make one of the bedrooms upstairs that's like close to the master into a massive closet. I mean, you guys know that like for work, I work in like fashion and clothing and I just have so many clothes and I feel like it's all stored in a lot of different places and it's harder for me to like style and stuff. So I just want to make like, I've always wanted to have a huge walk-in closet with like, like a little center island, like all of it. And so that is like literally a dream. So, um, we're gonna make that extra bedroom into a closet and then we'll keep the other bedroom um, up there and we're gonna wall off um, the bedroom like door so you don't need to like walk from the outside, you walk from the bedroom into that closet area. Um, and it, I think it'll work really well. And then the other bedroom will stay a bedroom and then downstairs there's like the big um, like open like den area and there's two side rooms and so Brady's gonna keep one room for like a little game type area and then the other room is gonna be um, like my office area and so yeah um, I talked about making maybe making the other room downstairs a bedroom but he wants to have his office or he wants to have like his game room like where he plays like games and like you know puts up like sporting pictures and all of that and so I um, really want to have like a space that is, and I feel like if he has that space, it's gonna keep our den from looking like like trash. Cause like he'll have his games and all that stuff out and he can just like leave it how he wants it. Um, but I don't know if my office is gonna look right down there. Um, so we'll see, I'll have to look back at like the video and stuff, but I just wasn't sure because having the office like right next to the den might look a little like weird, um, but maybe closing that wall off would make it look better um, where you like walked in through a door. Then that like that cuts off the light because there isn't any light down there and the only light is like that big window. So I don't know, there's a lot of things to figure out. Um, but I mean, it's exciting because we can make things exactly how we want it to be. And um, like I get to get my closet like I've always wanted. Like I've literally always wanted to have a massive walk-in closet and no house has that because no one really like needs a closet that's like as big as I like would want it to be. But like I want to have my shoes, like bags, like everything just like all super organized in one spot. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, um, Brady's excited. We don't have a uh, basement in our house right now. And so we're excited to have like a place where people can hang out. Also the living room is really big and so like if we have friends over and I'm upstairs, like he can be downstairs in the basement like watching TV or whatever. Or if um, I'm downstairs, like he can be in his game room and there's just like a lot of different spaces. And then I don't know if you guys saw, there's an insane amount of storage area, which is also really nice. Um, I don't, we don't really have a ton of stuff that we keep in storage, but I feel like having a um, house on the lake would just need a lot of like random things to be stored um, that we might not even like know about yet. That dock needs some help. Um, like it's very, very old, but we do have one. It just needs like some help. So, um, I mean, this house like is literally gonna be a complete renovation. And I don't know if you guys saw, there um, is like a really cool, um, I don't know. So it's, it's a, the basement's a walkout and it looks like there's a perfect spot for a deck on like when you are in that dining room area um if you see those two doors but there's not a deck it's a roof so we have to build a deck but we're gonna make our bedroom have doors as well because right now there's only um windows in the bedroom but we're gonna turn the windows into doors so that we can walk out into our deck in the morning um like on a saturday if we have our coffee and just give us like vacation vibes you know we're like way out here um Thankfully, we're only like 20 minutes from Brady's job, so it's still the same distance, and I work from home. So you guys will get to see a lot of this renovation because I'm literally gonna be living in the renovation like while everything's going on. But 
I mean, you guys saw the house. It's like gross. Like it's not <laughs> clean by any means, but everything isn't stripped yet. And um, I don't know. I feel like if we could get our bedroom done first, get the flooring done in the bedroom and just make that kind of like a nice little sanctuary, um, I feel like we'll be able to make everything else um, look the way that we want it to within the next couple weeks. So I don't know. Crossing my fingers, it all goes well. I have never lived through a renovation or, I mean, we've done a renovation, but a lot of the renovations we've done have been for like rentals and stuff like that. But this is like our home and we wanna do it right. Um, and there's some other stuff that we need to like get fixed in there, so. But we got the house for an amazing price and a big reason was because the house wasn't even on the market and the guy wasn't even planning on selling it. Um, and so our realtor did an amazing job of just like really encouraging him to sell because it is the right time if he's gonna sell at all and the guy doesn't even live in that house, he lives in another house. So it's just like a win-win for everyone. He got the house sold off the market we got a house on the lake and we're buying it when we want to. We're getting out of Chatham. Um, it's just gonna be like good all around. So I'm like so excited, but I'm a little like nervous because once something's done, it's done. You know, once you like buy your floor or once you like get your kitchen done or like once you get like whatever, it's done. And it's just like scary because it's like what if you do it and you don't do it the right way so there's a lot of things to think about but i'll link my pinterest board below because that's where i have like all my inspo and i really want our house to be inspired by a lot of my like pinterest board dreams um now that i might be able to have this huge walk-in closet i need to add another board for like a closet because that's something i've always wanted i should know if i was gonna be able to have it and Brady said that we'll have to check and see if like one of the walls is load bearing or not But even if it's load bearing he thought that there'd still be a way to like cut it in and we could like make a door from Our bedroom into the closet and it'll just be really nice. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited It's going to be a long um, Not a long long process. I mean all of our flips have been done in six weeks, but like this is gonna be a lot more like custom to us. So we're gonna have a lot more stuff that we are just putting a little bit more detail into like light fixtures and the way that things are like painted and like if we wallpaper certain areas or make it just like unique. So we're really excited and it's gonna be fun. And then we also have like all the stuff outside that we have to get done. Like the dock needs to be figured out cause it's like old. Um, we're like painting the outside or whatever you do to like make the brick from brown to white um and then we're also the roof is new but we're like refacing it so it's going to be like a black roof instead of like a brown roof so um it's just gonna it's gonna be a process um but i'm gonna take you guys along with us and i hope you guys just enjoy the ride and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video um I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think the next video is gonna be a Zara haul, maybe. Um, okay, I think the next video is gonna be a Zara haul, I'm not sure, but either way, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all so much. Comment below if you guys are excited for the new house. Comment below any ideas that you have, like if you have any dreams of like different things you've always wanted in your future home, let me know what those are because I might not. Ugh. I maybe didn't think about them and um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any like really cool ideas that would be cool in a house because I love to incorporate them into ours. So love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>